Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new interesting algebra math problem which is x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x plus 7 divided by x minus 4 times x minus 5 times x minus 6 times x minus 7 is equal to 1. So here we will try to find the value of x and all the possible solution of this algebra math problem. How can we solve this interesting algebra math problem? Now look into the numerator here. The sum of 4 plus 7, it is 11. And this 5 and 6 is 11. So therefore, we will combine these two expressions and these two expressions. And in the same way, in the denominator, we will combine these two expressions and these two expressions. So this left hand side will become, this will become, let us combine the first, the last expressions so will become x plus 4 times x plus 7 times let us combine these two expressions so this is x plus 5 times x plus 6 divided by and in the same way we can write this denominator as this will become x minus 4 times x minus 7 times x minus 5 times x minus 6 is equal to 1. Now let's multiply the expression inside the braces so this left hand side will become this will become x plus x times x square plus x times 7 is 7x plus 4 times this expression is this is 4x plus 4 times 7 is 28 so this will become 28 times and this expression will become x times x six x square plus x times 6 is 6 x plus 5 times x is 5 x plus 5 times 6 is 30 divided by this will become x times x is x square minus 7 x minus 4 x and negative time negative is positive 7 times 4 is 28 so this will become plus 28 times this will become x times x is x square minus 6x minus 5x and minus 5 times minus 6 is plus 30 is equal to 1. So let's further simplify the expression in the numerator and denominator so this will become this is x square plus 7x plus 4x is 11x plus 20 times this will become x square 6x plus 5x is 11x and this is 30 so we can write this 30 as this is 28 plus 2 divided by and the denominator will become this is x square minus 7x minus 4 is minus 11x plus 20a times x square this is negative 11x and 30 can be written as 28 plus 2 is equal to 1 look into the numerator and denominator in the numerator this expression and this expression is same and here in the denominator this expression and this expression is same so therefore this left hand side will become so here we will make some supposition so let us suppose let x square plus 11x plus 28 in the numerator this is equal to a and this expression in the denominator x square minus 11x plus 28 is equal to b so this equation will become this is a times a plus 2 divided by b times b plus 2 is equal to 1. Then we will take this expression to the right hand side. So this will become this will become a times a plus 2 is equal to b times b plus 2. So let's simplify both sides. So this will become a times a is a square plus 2a is equal to this is b square plus 2b. Then we will take this expression to the left hand side. So this is a square this will become minus b square plus 2a minus 2b is equal to 0 
Now this is a square minus b square, so this is an algebraic identity. So here, in this expression, we will use an algebraic identity. This one identity, a square minus b square, that is a minus b times a plus b. So using this algebraic identity here, this left hand side will become, this will become a minus b times a plus b. And there is two common in these two terms. So we will take out two common, so this will become a minus b is equal to zero. Look at to both the terms, there is a minus b common. So we'll take out a minus b common, so this will become taking a minus b common, so this will become a plus b plus is equal to 0. Here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get a minus b is equal to 0 or a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Now first we will solve this one equation. But here we will substitute the value of a and b from our supposition. So in our supposition, a is equal to this one expression and b is equal to this one ex expression. So this equation will become a is x square plus 11x plus 28 minus b is x square minus 11x plus 28 is equal to 0. Let's multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis. So this will become x square plus 11x plus 28 this will become minus x square plus 11x minus 28 is equal to 0 now there is positive x and there is negative x square so we will cancel them with each other and there is positive 28 and there is negative 28 so we can cancel them with each other so this will become 11x plus 11x it is 22x is equal to 0 Dividing both sides by 22, it gives him x is equal to 0. So let us suppose this is x1 and this is our first real solution. Now we will try to the, solve the second equation that is a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. So we will solve this one equation here. So our equation is a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Here our a is x square plus 11x plus 28 and our b is x square minus 11x plus 28 plus this one 2 is equal to 0. Let's simplify this left hand side. So look into this equation. equation. There is positive 11x and there is negative 11x. So they will cancel with each other. x square plus x square is 2x square. And 28 plus 28 is 56. 56 plus 2 is 58. So we become 58 is equal to 0. Here we will take this 58 to the right hand side. So this will become 2x square is equal to this will become negative 58. We're dividing both sides by 2. This gives him x square is equal to 58 divided by 2. It is simply minus 29. And we will take square root on both sides to find out the value of x. So x and square root will be cancelled. So this will become x is equal to, this will become plus minus. We can write this negative 29 as 29 times negative 1. And this is plus minus square root of 29 times square root of negative 1. Square root of negative 1 is a complex identity i. So this will become x is equal to plus minus square root of 29i. So here we have three possible values of x. That is x1 is equal to 0. That is the real solution. And x2 is equal to positive square root of 29i. And our x3 is equal to negative square root of 29i. So finally, we have these three possible solutions in which one is real and two are complex. And last, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions. Thanks for watching.